Hey guys, Nick Sarity here, and welcome back to some more of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Alrighty. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's going So, um, I think that was slightly different from what I recorded the last time. I uh, apologize for that. I couldn't remember what had happened, and in the moment, I just wanted her gone. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Yeah, we know. It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! You son of a- ah! Shit! Sorry, Omid. Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. No. I can't imagine we will be. Yep. Green this time. Are we going to be seasick? Probably not. Ghost town. Fun. <laughs> not that every town's not a ghost town, but I mean, like, it's an oddly quiet town in the zombie apocalypse. Considering Savannah's a decent-sized city. <laughs> no creepy stalker man for you. Can't I just hold it? Uh. Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... No. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, he kind of does. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up. Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. Mm hmm. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. <laughs> Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. Mm -hmm. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? I was assuming your watch is not slow or fast Someone's or anything. up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Yeah, really. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Not important. Hello? Hello? Are you there? <clears throat> ben, quit being jumpy. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. Oh my god, Chuck. What are you yammering on about? Ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. <laughs> yes. Ah. 
Time to go. Everybody, run! Time to go. Cowardly son of a bitch. God damn it. Oh, come on. Help us first. There's no time. We gotta go now. Out the time. Just go. I'll get the door. How's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? It won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Uh. Let me see if I can find us a way here. It's so much fun when everybody's just bickering 24-7. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell no, ever heard of a locked bitch. doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> Thanks for the sarcasm, right, Kenny. So, where's the dog? Oh, shocker. Fido has a grave. <laughs> Thank you, Lee, for that uh, piece of interestingness. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? And a zombie dog would suck. Like, legit. What's buried down there? Death. Death is what's buried down there. Smell it from here. That's disgusting. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me and Oni. Let Lee work. I mean, unless you've got some morbid sense of adventure, then you wanna watch me dig up a dead pet. Oh God, the smell. Yes, yes, yes. We get it. dead things that were rotting smell awful. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. That is pretty disgusting. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Mm-hmm. You sure you I said I'm fine, okay? Alright, well let's get inside then. Nothing. Yes! 
God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Time to go. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no nope. good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Oh my god, Clementine, why? Clem, are you okay? Say something! Oh, jeez. Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, no, but... You did good. You just had me worried. I don't like you. panicking. <laughs> maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. I really don't like panicking. I feel so awful. Oh well. Nice house. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Mm hmm. Still gonna worry. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Oh my god, Krista, really? What? That it's working. Why? Is someone else on the what good does it do? Thing? You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same That's person? a little paranoid, whoever but was I on mean... The radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Paranoid Kenny Who makes sense. sense. Does anything make any more? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Yeah. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and old meat's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. <sighs> Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. Yeah, really. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Duh. Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks. I got it. Hang out with Kristen Omi until I get back. Okay. Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first <laughs> the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. You know, for a dude who's never been a dad, that was a pretty awesome dad thing. I could be a smart ass and check the, uh, the kitchen cabinets. And uh, claim that I was supposed to check every door, but nothing how to get here. Now you've heard the smart ass comment. Ooh, a closet. All clear in here. One more to check. Giant double doors. Gotcha. Honestly, if there was anything in here, that's where I would assume it would be. Ok. 
Come on. Jesus. A mop. What? How dastardly. It's nothing. Just uh, What's nothing. A, What is a mop doing in a room with double doors? Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No. No, nothing. Sorry. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. Never yell at Clementine. Never. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? I think he. Might. What have you been saying to him? Krista, chill. I told him chill. I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He, Lee. Let's not panic the poor child. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. He went up there and hasn't come back. Yeah, great. He said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? Mm-hmm. I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Was that shot specifically to remind us that there's a gun in the back? Kenny? He looks so defeated. Kenny. You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Let you do it before. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care. Can't of ask you to do it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Not really, but let's go find out if I can. Anyway. This must have been where he slept. Yep. Okay. That's nice. I don't really need to know any of that. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he stabbed to death. Oh, this could have been clear time if I hadn't found what I did. Thanks for that. I really didn't want to, like, listen to any of the backstory. I just wanted to be done with it. I mean, it's already awful enough. Do we really have to dwell on it? I'm sorry. It's a little disturbing how it does kind of resemble his kid a little bit. Probably done on purpose, but why? Why you gotta be sad and creepy like that?
bury him with his Fido friend. Of course you're gonna make me do it. Can we stop with the lingering shots and just bury the poor child? Oh shit. Well, now I understand why you showed me a view of the fence. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? Everything. Nothing. Yeah. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No. Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? A creepy he stalker dude. watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kitty. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. Plus, you panicked when it counted. Stay behind with Krista and only. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. <sighs> Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? I feel like we're going to have some more conversations like hey, that many burning. times. I'm going to go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just going to leave me on the bench here? Yes. Stop being a broody little teenager. Ugh. I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Can I, though? I mean, honestly, when it's come down to it, Ben's kind of let us down every single time in the past. I mean, you know, you, you can't expect everything from him.
this far into the zombie apocalypse, I feel like if he hasn't, if he's caused more trouble than he's worth, there's no point. Hey, Kenny, you look pissed. Want to talk about it? No? Okay, cool. What's up with these random markings? Hey, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, River's I right up ahead. Yeah, I don't blame you. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Keep your voice down. and ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Thanks, Kenny. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Yep. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... shot you said so yourself back at the house you agreed with me yeah but that was before we we could try building a boat maybe this one might still be salvageable mm. seriously you got a better fucking idea. Build a boat. It'll take a little bit. It out. But it couldn't be done. The Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. Joy. See what you can find. Okay. I know those types of things. They need quarters. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. You're not gonna look in it for a quarter? Do I have to go trigger the fact that you need a quarter first? Well, uh, you know what? Let's go look at this. This is here. It's a thing. It's a terrifying, disturbing, and all around horrifying thing. But it's a thing. Or crazy shits. I ain't gonna shoot him. Why would I waste the bullets? Especially when we're trying to avoid attention at the moment. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Duh. It's for tourists. Of course it needs a quarter to work. Now it'll let me check. Yeah, that figures. Oh, hey. Locked. 
I have a blunt tool. Whoop. Quarter. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the waterline while someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, there's a wall of dead. <laughs> Fate worse than death. I wouldn't worry about it. I finally got a quarter. Let's see if the telescope thing works. Oh, hey, look, it does. Cool. All right. Yep. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Nothing but water, no. not a boat to be seen. Okay. The Talmud for more. Ah, there we go. when the city started to fall. Yeah. It was probably a shit show. Anything else? Hey! Orange you. The hell? How are you climbing a building like that? Get down! Get down! Behind you! Yeah. Please don't. No. Ow. Ow. Thanks for that. No! Clementine, I'm not sure I've ever been happier to see you. <laughs> Crawford. Hi. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Oh my god, Kenny, put the frickin' gun down. Kenny, don't! Kind of a world we live in where you ice pick you? first and ask questions later. I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. Kenny, 
Okay. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? Again, the fuck is Crawford? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Why would I ask if I didn't? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. That's sad. Uh. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks for you. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. Ah. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. Okay. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children? No elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Yay. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Well, thank you for taking my smart-ass comment away from me, Molly. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying... They actually... Uh, I mean, kids? No. The children, they just forced to leave. Along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Jeez. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here. Find something safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Yeah, really? Any that got left behind, Crawford stood them for parks. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Getting pissy is not gonna help anything. Shh. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Now it's time to go. Isn't that the- Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Yeah. Is there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a- Oh, come on! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. Come on. Do it for the kid. Come on, make it fast. I'm 
Time to go. Time to go. Push the dumpster. Just gonna try climbing it, but okay. Nope. It's never that easy. Why would it ever be that easy? Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. Oh, working on it. Can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Down we go. Well, at least it's dead. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh dear. Uh, deep dark sewer. Yay. Shit. Well, all right. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, time to get out of here. Assuming it's the same thing over here. No way I can pry that open. Yeah. All right. Deeper into the sewers, then. Ugh. I'm gonna slip. Totally gonna slip. Yeah. <laughs> Saw that coming. Oh joy. Okay. Those are rats. I don't really want to. It's a free time. I hear some. Oh, oh snap. Okay. Um Oh, okay. Let's, you know, not get eaten alive. Thank you. The zombie's trying to eat water. Shit. Well, I'm not going back that way. Uh, time to get out of here. Time to leave. Time to leave. I would greatly appreciate also closing that, but I don't think I really have time for it.
Oh, that appears to be the last of them. Aw, Chuck. You were a cool dude, Chuck. I'm sorry it ended like that. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Okay. Sure, dark scary tunnel, why not? The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Cool. All right. Well, that seems as good a place as any to uh Put this episode to bed so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave it a like comment down below on your favorite chuck moment since he's gone now i don't know why that one is more sad than other deaths that have happened in the series like chuck but anyway thanks again so much guys go ahead and subscribe for more great content and there you signing off see you guys next time Bye bye